Welcome to a demo of the input drive. The name for this patented device was inspired by a song popular back in the 50s. Here you see my prototype that replaces your computer keyboard and mouse. To be accurate, you're looking at Jive 2. Compared with Jive 1, I added four more five-way switches, moved the wiring inside, changed the shape to give it room for future development, and gave it a lid. I predict my sleight of hand trick will exceed your expectations. How is it possible to get a keyboard and mouse in the palm of my hand? Let's take a look under the hood and see. Putting the mouse in the palm of my hand was easy. Under my thumb, you see a mini joystick. Moving the stick moves the mouse arrow on your screen. Shrinking the keyboard down to fit in the palm of my hand took many months of building and testing. I didn't want to end up with one of these things, a bunch of tiny little buttons that are difficult to push. The goal was to duplicate the experience a touch typist has when typing on a standard keyboard, only better. The search ended when I found the five-way switch. I placed one here next to a dime to give you an idea of its relative size. Next to it is the aluminum cap. I machined the caps and placed a dot of sandpaper on top to make the switches easy to use. The switches are connected to an excellent keyboard encoder made by Altamark. For more details, check out their website. The board also comes with excellent software, easy to program. Any switch can be any keyboard key that you want. You also have the option of a primary and secondary function. That means you have you can assign two keyboard keys to each switch. Thanks to excellent hardware and software, you're looking at 10 keyboard keys in the space smaller than one standard keyboard key. Enough of this hardware. Let's take the Jive for a spin and see what it can do. For me, work gets done faster using a large screen. I don't need to wear glasses, and having several windows open simultaneously saves time. The old mouse was annoying. It kept running off the pad and all over the desk. The Jive is a different experience. Simply push the joystick in the direction you want to go. When you reach your destination, push down on button number one. Scrolling on the mouse was annoying because it was constant, repetitive finger flicking. On the other hand, with the Jive, you just push down on button number one to scroll down, push up to scroll up. When you get to the article you want to read, push down again, and then you can scroll up and down using the button in the usual way. When I want to go back to the home page, instead of aiming at this arrow up in the corner, simply pull back on button number one. If I'm done surfing for the day, once again I don't have to go aiming for the corner. I simply push forward on button number one, and boom, the browser's gone. Some people look at the Jive and ask me if typing is awkward. I understand the device looks a little bit strange. I like to answer the question with a short review of the standard keyboard. Wikipedia has a nice graph. It shows the letters of the alphabet and frequency of use. The most commonly used consonant is the letter T. Look at your keyboard. It's a bit of a stretch to hit that key. One of the letters near the bottom of the graph is J. Look at where it's at. T and the J should be reversed. Based on this graph, most of the keys are in the wrong place. I learned to type about 50 years ago. It wasn't until I started building the Jive that I realized how poor the standard keyboard design is. The Jive shrinks the keys down to a small, easy-to-reach space. 
In this example, under the red cap, I put the vowels A, E, I, O, and U. If I push the U at shift key, I get four and five. Ten keyboard keys and one small spot. If you type a series of letters repeatedly, the software will allow you to set up a macro for those letters. When I'm busy, I let people know I'll get back to them when possible by pushing key six. The Jive can do many more tricks, but this segment is out of time. For years, I hoped someone would make a wireless keyboard encoder. I wanted to get rid of this tangling USB cord. No one did. I tried to do it myself, but I gave up. I'm glad I did. Thanks to advancing technology, the potential for the Jive is far greater than I imagined just a few years ago. Here's an example of something I'm working on for the Jive right now. The little rectangle is the MK802, powered by a single lithium polymer battery. It has 64 gigabytes of RAM with an HDMI video out. Currently it is running an app from Qualcomm called Skifta. The image you see on the smart TV is coming directly from the 802. I hope Qualcomm continues to develop Skifta to the level of Intel's wireless display. Best part of the 802? It fits inside the finger drive with room to spare. I'm not fond of the cloud. Waiting for files to upload is impractical. There are questions about security. The objective for the Jive is to have everything in the palm of my hand. Keyboard, mouse, computer, cell phone, whatever. One input for all computing. No waiting for an upload to the cloud. No questions of security. I know this has been really dry, so I'd like to end with a question my wife asked me. She wants to know if she sends a text message using the finger jive. Is that what the Bee Gees had in mind when they released their song, Jive Talking? Yeah, okay. As usual, any questions, comments, or good jokes, send them to the email address coming up.